I believe that from an industry point of view, we are at a turning point. Um, addressability is, has, it's been a buzzword for years, but I think finally in the last year, maybe 18 months, we've started to see broadcasters um, really ad adopting addressability in their, as part of their core strategies for the future. And this is coming about because there's pressure from competition, pressure of course from the, the duopoly of Facebook and Google, but it, it's also a realization that um, the industry is ready for it. Agencies are ready to buy addressable advertising. Slowly the technical framework uh, and the, the, the measurement framework is starting to come into place where it is actually possible to measure segment audiences and, and target on linear television and even better than that um, on linear television and cross plan and cross target across digital as well and really that's the holy grail of advertising being able to um, target addressable audiences on, on, on linear and digital. I think um, interestingly the different sides of the Atlantic have seen addressability progress in different ways in the US, um, addressability has been focused um, uh, probably more on linear addressability. Uh, you know, at, at Videology and now, now Amobi, we've been working with some great broadcasters and MPVDs in North America, uh, providing them tools that allow their salespeople to plan and sell addressable audiences across um, linear inventory. And this, is, um, this has come about really because of the unique data situation in the US where you have the same measurement panel handling both the, the household data and, and the digital data. In, in Europe, addressability has been actually focused much more on an IP delivery basis. So of, of course there is um, addressability in IP delivered catch-up content or, or VOD as we call it in Europe. But um, we've seen broadcasters over the last few years innovating in addressability, in dynamic ad insertion into live simulcast feeds. Um, we've seen Sky with their AdSmart product. We've seen um, RTL experimenting uh, with HBB TV uh, and, and SmartClip. We've seen um, ITV and Channel 4 in the UK announcing that they'll be going to be working with Sorensen and Samsung. Um, and What's exciting here is that we have addressability coming to TV in digital TV and in linear TV at different rates in different territories. But with that coming together, it's going to mean uh, the TV industry is going to become so much uh, more, pa well, more powerful in its uh, ability to drive adver advertising efficacy with, uh, and, and improve KPIs for brands. So who makes out the best in terms of an addressable world? Um, is it the distributors? Is it the programmers? Uh, who are the players that stand to gain the most? That is a very important question that the industry is working its way through and has been for, for the last few years. I think the main thing to point out is that there is no doubt that there is value here because there is value to the advertiser in um, Im improved KPIs and advertising efficacy. Um, now, where that value ends up, you know, I, I think it's going to be shared throughout the whole ecosystem. Um, the broadcaster will see value in terms of increased CPMs, in terms of shifting spend from other medium to broadcasters. And also, I think they'll see value in uh, user experience, perhaps being able to lower ad load uh, because their, their advertising is higher value and more targeted. The, the operators are going to benefit because in some cases they're the technology platform that allows for the addressability. They're the people with the relationship with the customers and so can surface amazing data. Uh, but then the agencies and the, the brands are going to benefit as well because they have a more powerful uh, version of TV advertising that they can tap into and there's no doubt that TV advertising is the most powerful and effective form of advertising in the world already and bring addressability to that as well and it only makes it better.